BPPV stands for Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo, although it's usually referred to by its initials or as Benign Positional Vertigo. BPPV is typically characterised by brief but intense periods of vertigo that are usually provoked by lying down, turning over in bed, looking up or bending forward. Typical findings on appropriate testing include the provocation of a nystagmus that has a brief latent period, that lasts for 10 to 30 seconds, that fatigues on repeat testing and that may reverse in direction when the patient sits up. If the nystagmus is purely vertical, or if it persists for longer than 90 seconds without diminishing, or if it is accompanied by other neurological signs or symptoms, then it is wise to discontinue the test and seek further assessment or onward referral. BPPV can occur in any of the semicircular canals, but is most common in the posterior canal. The utricle contains a pad of cells overlaid with a jelly-like substance in which are embedded small particles called otoconia. There are two theories regarding the cause of BPPV. First, it may be caused by otoconia from the utricle floating into one of the canals. This otoconial debris becomes trapped in the canal Head movements in the plane of the canal will move the debris and induce dizziness. This is known as canal lithiasis. The second theory, cupulolithiasis, proposes that the debris adheres to the sensory organ within the canal, or cupula, causing abnormal displacement during head movement. The length of nystagmus and vertigo experienced can guide the tester to the likely cause. Generally, if symptoms last less than 60 seconds, the treatment for canal lithiasis should be applied. Nystagmus of slightly longer duration can be treated as cupulolithiasis in the first instance. The treatment for BPPV is based on rolling or dislodging the debris from the affected canal back into the utricle.